Well, they're known for their cold brews and their hot pizzas, but here's something you may not know about Surly Brewery. They have their very own honeybee farm where they not only locally source honey, but are also doing their part to save the bee population. I think we're ready to go check out the bees. All right, let's do it. Woo. Let's suit up. Just a few steps behind Surly Brewery. So we can check out a couple hives. You'll find bees and lots of them. If we lose the bees, then we lose so many different crops and just native uh, vegetation. So it's definitely not just this kind of small little hobby. There is a grander scheme to it. Surly Brewery chef Ben Pine is as busy as a bee. When he's not making pizzas in Surly's kitchen, he's usually buzzing around the honeybee hives. So last year, the honey that we harvested here, we used in a hot sauce that we uh, make in house. Um, and then we also use a little bit in pastry. And we use um, probably about five gallons a week uh, amount of honey and we get it all from, uh, we have really two different local purveyors that we'll, we'll buy our honey from. Not only using the locally sourced honey in their dishes, but also helping to reduce their carbon footprint. If you're using local products, it's usually going to be super fresh. It's not being trucked um, from Mexico or California or somewhere else across the country. What is your favorite part about beekeeping? For me, it's really being kind of, you get in that zen moment when you're in there, it's so chill. Um, it's just you and the bees, and the bees are really doing their thing. Um, and then it's all about the seasons. They. When you're keeping bees, you have to be super in tune to the change of the seasons because then you know when the nectar flow starts, which is when they start really producing a lot of honey. And that's important for restaurants too because we're planning our menus around seasons and when these different local and seasonal uh, vegetables are coming in tune. So it just, it really ties it all together for me. And the brewery actually lost a few hives over the winter months due to mites. And I learned so much, you guys, about beekeeping. And there's so many interesting little factoids about honeybees, like mm -hmm. how many yeah. queens they get. They battle it out. I'm going to be sharing some of those factoids uh, on our Carol M. Facebook Live show after sunrise. Ooh, that's going to be funny. Yeah. Those queen bees are huge. They're and big. There's and a lot of things that are tied in with the bee population and, like, our population, too. Exactly. Yeah. They're very important.